Josh, I don't think anyone expected absolute and immediate peace across the Middle East after President Trump achieved these historic peace deals. But, 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 it was clear that President Trump had Israel's back and people knew not to mess with him. They knew he was tough. He was, he was not predictable in what he would do, except that he would be tough if you mess with Israel. Everyone knew that. And now Biden steps in and signals to the entire world that our support for Israel is revoked and then Israel comes under attack. This is not a coincidence. Correct. You hit it on the head. When President Trump was president, he made it very clear that there was no daylight between the United States and Israel. President Trump was the best friend the state of Israel ever had. You know, Ambassador Friedman and Jared Kushner and others who put together the Abraham Accords. I mean, that is historic. Any Democrat who would have done that, they'd be on the front of every newspaper and getting all the Nobel Prizes and this and that. But because it was President Trump, the uh, Deadwood media and the lamestream media and the you know, Silicon Valley tech thugs, they don't want to give President Trump the credit. But let me tell you something, Dr. Gina, history will smile upon President Trump because he was the best, best president ever for the United States of America and also uh, the best friend the Jewish state of Israel ever had.